Upsets, upsets, upsets. There is Guido Vianello upsetting Arslanbic Mark Madoff, stopping him in round eight. And I just watched this fight, okay? Uh, I supposed to went live, something came up. Um, it was a very interesting night of boxing, okay? Um, the first person, by comparison, I thought of when speaking of Arslanbic Mark Madoff is... Adam Kalnaki. If you guys can remember Adam Kalnaki, he was blasting through guys like Gerald Washington, uh, Charles Martin. You know, he's had his share of of uh, of victories, and he was twenty and zero with fifteen KOs, and he got beat by Robert Hellenius. Then he got beat again by Robert Hellenius. Then he got beat again by someone else. Then he had a no contest. Then he lost again. So his last five fights have been washes. Now, to be fair, Auslan Mark Madoff did win a trial run. So it's not as severe, to say the least, like Adam Kalnaki, but it reminds me of him. How? Um, no defense. Pulling straight back. Uh, no head movement. Just raw, rough offense. That's it. Um... He got beat by a guy, uh, Guido Vianello, which he has two losses, but the two losses from Jonathan Rice and Effie Ajagba. Okay, and this guy's also with, what, 11 KO. So he's 13, 2, and 10 at the time. I think he was 12, 2, and 10 when he fought. Right? Now he's 13 and 11. And Effie Ajagba, that, that fight could have went any way, either way. Okay, that was a good fight. Then he gave Effie Ajagba one hell of a go, okay? And um, that just shows you that I think he learned since then because his whole thing with Effie Ajagba, he wasn't first all the time. Uh, how he beat Arslan McMarkmanoff, he was first. He went first. You know, he got off first. He got his punches off first. His punches were straighter. You know, he took it to Arslan McMarkmanoff because one thing about when you see a guy crumble, like I get Caballo made him crumble, He people are no longer scared of him. You know, in this day and age, when you see someone that was supposed to be the boogeyman of the division get blasted out, stopped, and retired like that on his, uh, on, you know, on the canvas, you stop fearing him. That's exactly what happened, okay? He's People stopped feeling, fearing Arslan McMarkmanoff because they figured him out. Okay, well, his chin isn't as good as people think it is. Um, he does have thin skin. He doesn't have defense, you know, um, and he can be beat. And that's what Vianetta saw, and he was like, you know, Vianello saw, and he was like, you know what? I'm taking it right to this guy. No questions asked. I can beat him, and that's exactly what happened, okay? So Vianello has um really it was thanks to I get Caballel, but I get Caballel is still undefeated and has done that with another top level opponent which is uh Frank Sanchez. Okay, so you know it doesn't look that bad yet. It depends on how far Caballo goes, you know, to define the severity of the law. So if Caballo soars and he goes all the way to where he can have go and he ends up victorious, Arslan McMarkmadoff is just a victim of someone that was a little better. But how it comes off now that Ars Arslanbic has lost twice, we still see holes in his defense. He didn't look that great. Uh, he got hit, no head movement. He could not get his head off the center line. He thought throwing punches is avoiding punches, which is bullshit. <laughs> so he paid the price, okay? So again, hopefully this is not another Adam Kalnaki, a guy that when he gets exposed to, he's figured out, then he's no good anymore. You guys tell me what you think about our slambic Mark Madoff being upset by Guido Vianello. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace!